Page six now, the Democrat divide over the Marxist socialist candidate for president. The party of abortion on the verge of politically aborting itself. Bernie Sanders is attempting to suck the party of JFK down his political sink, which is causing the so-called moderates in the Democrat party to hit full-blown panic mode. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, who can stop Bernie? <laughs> Sanders has an 89% chance of winning California. Texas, 52% chance he's leading in North Carolina, according to 538. He's going to probably win in Virginia, probably win Massachusetts, despite the uh, Pocahontas, Minnesota, and Colorado. So for the first seven states of Super Tuesday, according to 538, Bernie Sanders on a roll. You agree with those numbers? Oh, yeah, unquestionably. Tuesday night, when we go to bed, it may be over for part one. What I mean is the Democrats that are going to the primaries on Saturday in the Carolinas and Tuesday all across America, by the end of Tuesday, it's almost over, over 40% of the electorate will have voted. But what people are forgetting is round two will come at the convention. Keep in mind that down ballot Democrats are in massive panic. Right. Those running for House and Senate seats are freaking out about having a non-Democrat possible communist at the top of the ticket. It could completely destroy any momentum they had for the House. Don't be surprised if there are massive changes in the procedures at the convention to block Bernie and bring in the superdelegates on ballot two, just as they did when the superdelegates put Hillary over the top right. three and a half years ago with the express intent of blocking Bernie then, and it worked. All right. California, Texas, uh, Virginia, and North Carolina, if he just wins those four states on Super Tuesday, that's 852 delegates. If he, um, you throw in, for example, um, Tennessee, you throw in uh, Oklahoma, you throw in Utah. Again, look at the third column. Um, Bernie's not sweeping, but he's doing well, according to 538. You know, Bloomberg's doing all right in Oklahoma, along with Biden. Bloomberg's doing okay in Arkansas, along with Biden. But it looks as though... Um, he might pick up a grand total of somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe a close to a thousand delegates, 900, a thousand uh, delegates. And at that point, you would have to call him a juggernaut. Now, here's the problem with what you pointed out, where the Democrat Party is going to start tinkering with the rules and these superdelegates are possibly going to go AWOL from Bernie Sanders. He has power now within the Democrat Party, right? And so if they try and maneuver to block him from the nomination, then they've got to deal with the consequences. And where did the Bernie box go, right? He has a lot of power with all this support. Well, that's an interesting conundrum for the Democrat leadership because the Bernie bros, as they call themselves, do not make any statements or allusions to the fact that they are not Democrats. They are full blown socialists. Right. They will not support the party leadership if they think Bernie gets bumped aside with a rule change. They'll stay home. Yeah. And if that percentage of the primary voters stay home, not only does Donald Trump get reelected, but the down ballot Republicans will be dragged yep. along with him and you'll see the House flip flop. That's yep. the big risk the Democrat Party has if they push Bernie out of the lead yeah. and give it to, well, Mike Bloomberg, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, or anybody else. Or Hillary. That matter, including Joe Biden. Or Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> Hillary. Think. And by the way, exactly. and by the way, if I know Bernie Sanders at all, vice president, throwing vice president at him will not make him happy. And just one punctuation here. Um, when you look at the, speaking of odds in Vegas, it is Donald Trump still the odds on favorite. That is where the money is going. It's going to Donald Trump to repeat, if you will, as champion, reelected president of the United States. Very thanks.